no desire to meet traitors. William felt nauseating when Harry and Meghan set foot in Windsor Castle. The Duke of Cambridge has no desire to play happy families with Meghan and Harry following the damage of the scandals that ensued when they stepped down from the royal family. Prince William is said to find it nauseating when Meghan Markle and Prince Harry try to return to the family following damage they've caused, an insider has claimed. The Duke of Cambridge has been publicly feuding with his younger brother since he stepped away from his royal role in favor of a more private life in California with his wife and children. Now, questions are being raised about whether Harry's return to the UK for the Queen's Jubilee could help heal the rift. But not everyone is convinced that he should be given a hero's welcome as a palace insider has claimed that William has no desire to play happy families following the drama of the last few years. The insider told Closer, William finds it nauseating that Harry and Meghan seem to think they can waltz back after all the damage they've caused. As far as William is concerned, he has no desire to play happy families with Harry and Meghan when it suits them. He has seen firsthand the chaos they have caused. Both he and Kate have a strong sense of what is right, and as far as they're concerned, it takes more than a fleeting visit to undo all of the pain and heartache they have caused, which they are yet to publicly apologize for. Royal author of Prince Harry, Untold, Duncan Larkham has also weighed in on the drama and suggested that Prince William and Kate Middleton have stayed silent during the Sussex's public jibes as they are watching them metaphorically hang themselves with their own rope. Duncan said, William and Kate may as well sit back and watch Harry and Meghan metaphorically hang themselves with their own rope. They've kept a dignified silence and they're focused on what their job is as working royals. They've risen above Harry and Meghan's truth bombs and so far it's paid off. I have it on good authority that William and Kate were tempted by the offers to have their say with a tell-all in the immediate aftermath of Oprah. They are obviously offered interviews all of the time. Prince Harry and his wife Meghan visited Queen Elizabeth II at Windsor Castle on their first joint visit to the UK since they gave up formal royal roles and moved to the US more than two years ago. After that, Meghan Markle joined Prince Harry in The Hague, Netherlands, for the Invictus Games. Meghan Markle is allegedly thrilled with all the attention she received at the Invictus Games. In its May 2nd issue, Heat UK claimed that Markle told Prince Harry that they are just getting started. There's a ton of black slapping going on right now inside Team Sussex, and Meghan could not be happier if she tried. She's telling Harry they've played a blinder and their comeback is just getting started. But she also knows it's critical they maintain their standards and don't allow anyone to try to steamroller them. She wants them to be able to live their lives the way they want to, and the royal family will have to fit in with that, the source said. The insider also claimed that Markle thinks that she and Prince Harry have entered a whole stratosphere of importance. So, even with all the criticisms, the Duchess of Sussex continues to pursue her agenda. She also feels as though she's back with Queen Elizabeth but did it on her own terms. Meghan was always confident that if she and Harry bided their time, they would be welcomed back into the royal fold. It was all about staying true to their principles and riding out the uncomfortable standoff that's been in effect since their Oprah interview. It's fair to say that, out of the two of them, this has been harder for Harry, the source said. This has been hard.